the one nice thing about uh, Xerox uh, technology um, is the document feeder. 250 sheet document feeder. Uh, most of our competitors have between 100 and 125 sheets. It also has single pass scanning. So you have your scanner on top and on the bottom for two-sided scanning or two-sided originals for copies. Another um, nice feature about the Xerox is 250 sheet bypass tray. Again, most of our competitors have between 100 and 150 sheets. You can run up to uh, 300 GSM, so 110 pound cover stock easily through the bypass tray. And it accommodates up to 13 by 19 paper. Papers trays one and two are your universal paper trays for paper uh, up to 12 by 18. Most common is 11, 17 in trays uh, one and two or eight and a half by 14. Uh, trays three and four are dedicated eight and a half by 11 trays and they hold a total of four reams of paper, 2,000 sheets. You can run up to 80 pound cover stocks through any of the paper trays as well. Now we'll take you inside the machine. Um, when you open up the machine, um, what we have in here, we use low melt toner, and I'll show you the toner cartridges in a second. So the fuser assembly runs really cool. Two benefits to running a cooler temperature. Uh, number one, is the machine will run a lot more reliable than anything you've ever seen out there uh, because with more heat and pressure you run through uh, paper runs through the heat and pressure it tends to curl um, so, you, so you have virtually no curling with the Xerox. Um, another patented technology is CRUs, customer replaceable units. Um, the fuser assembly here we could take out put in a new one in 30 seconds you have a new, new uh, heat rollers. On all of our competitors, and, and ours alike, we use uh, heat and pressure to melt the toner onto the paper. So these heat rollers do wear out over time. When they do on the competitive units, um, technician has to come in, take the machine apart, usually, usually spends about two to four hours um, of your time and his time at your location replacing the fuser rollers. Um, another CRU uh, is your drums, very easy to replace take them in and out, um, simply take out a drum, place it right back in, and you're good to go. Um, most of our competitors do not have re customer replaceable drums, it would require a service call for them, whereas here you could have the uh, part on hand. The two items that customers are required to replace are the toners and the waste toner. Everything else could be a tech call and should be um, a tech call, and it's a relatively quick call as well. Um, toners, very easy to take in and out, replace them. Um, again, patented technology, low melt toner. Um, it also has what's called trickle charge development, so the color consistency is going to be uh, phenomenal. It's dropping down and using the toner and the developer um, at the same time, whereas our competitors drop the toner into a developer hopper and reuse the developer. Our developer is used once and then goes into the waste toner. So right now we are printing from the USB stick. Um, simply press, put the uh, USB in, it prompts you to print the files. You search for the file and then you select your features. In this case we're selecting staple, corner, top corner left, two-sided, and I'm going to uh, manually select tray four. Uh, and then we just simply uh, select the quantity if we wanted to increase the number of copies. In this case, we'll do two. And then you select, press start. And your job will print from the USB stick. The first printout <coughs> does take a, a few seconds depending on the complexity of the document that you are printing uh, and the file size of the document. This appears to be a pretty large file.
and then you have your completed sets stapled in the top left, two sided. Excellent 2400 by 2400 DPI resolution. Um, most of our competitors are around the 1200 mark.